Hi everyone, in this video I will teach you how to make a daily school bell schedule. Um, I've just drafted up uh, a rough example of what it could look like, um, but I will go through everything to show you exactly how you can customize it on your own. So, start by opening up a blank page on your Google Docs. I'm just going to scroll down to a blank page I've already made. And let's say this is your page. Start by going out to insert and click on table. And now, because I have um one row that is for the time of the day i will create six um rows down and now you can just choose as many as you like depending on your schedule i'm just going to choose something random for this example so let's say that this is the time so let's say 8 a.m um 10 a.m 12 p.m 2 p.m um this is just a bit slow. You can use your arrows to easily navigate here, but um, my arrows are right now being used to record. So if I click on them, they will simply stop this video. So it's easier for you to if you just click on the arrows on your keyboard. Um, but besides that, let's put the days in. So Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now we have a pretty rough schedule right now, but what I want to do next is to align all of the text in the middle. So simply ensure that you have your cursor down here and then drag it over so all of these cells turns blue. And now go up to this to align the text in the middle. And now you should have a page that looks something like this. So next step is that we want to make these boxes slightly bigger. So we can drag right here and it's pretty easy. You simply just click and hold. Um, so just do that to your liking, like this. So now you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, actually, let's just do do this. And if one jumps down on the other page, you can just adjust the other ones. Um, yeah. So we have this as a rough example right now. Um, so if you want to make the text, text bigger, first of all, we can simply just mark all of these row here by clicking and holding and dragging. And now you can go up here and we can do, let's say this size. And now we can also click bold to make the text a bit more visible. And we can do the same for these right here. Let's say we want it like this and bold. Right. So next step is to put in the classes you have. So let's say this is English and let's say this is biology, uh, science, say PT. Um, so let's say this is one example of a day and when the kids need to go to each class. Um, what we want to do is color code them. So start by clicking, let's say English make sure that your cursor is here. And now up here, you should have a little uh, pop-up that says table options. Click there. And now you should have a, this um, column on the side of your document. And I simply want to go down to the one called color. Um, to change the background of this entire cell, you simply want to click right here in the cell background color but ensure that you have selected and that your cursor is inside of the cell. Now click and let's say we want to make English pink. Um, and we do that again for biology, let's say green, because nature, science, blue, PT, um, yellow. So now you have this and we do of course want all of this to be in the middle of each cell instead of into the very top. So now you can simply mark them all and you can go up in the cells uh, section up here and now you can click in the cell vertical alignment and click middle. And now all of these uh, sketch or classes for the day are aligned perfectly in the middle of the cell. So next step is we can go and we can again drag and highlight all of these uh, text boxes and we can bold them and we can adjust the size. So let's say we want to make it like this size so it's very visible. Next step is to fill out all of these uh, boxes for the rest of the week. So let's say these are all the classes you have uh, for your school children. Now if you click here and just double click to market and click Control C or click copy. 
and if you try and copy it down here it will just um, show the text only and it will appear in the top as well so if we delete that but instead we click three times on the mouse one two three and it should highlight this entire box like so and now we copy it I just do it on my keyboard by clicking Control c and now i click Control v on my keyboard again and now it's easy and it brings along the color with the uh, the section you just copied so if we want to do science click three times copy it and let's say you want it right here and that is basically it so again three times so if you only do two it will only mark the text and that's not what we want we want to highlight the entire box from side to side um, like this and that's pretty easy and now you can simply go and customize the rest of the boxes so let's say we want to make this dark red like in the box uh, or in the sample I showed you at the start and we want to make the text white uh, we just simply go and customize it like so and we do of course want this in the middle as well um, and yeah that is basically how you make a schedule I hope you found this video helpful and let me know if there's anything else you need help with thanks for watching